All right, this video is about subtracting whole numbers and comparing problems. A little bit different. Uh, below you can see our teaks, so you can pause the video and read those over if you'd like. And we're going to be using our comparing action poster. Our comparing action poster today. So let's take a look at our problem. The movie theater sold 1,064 tickets on Friday night and 934 tickets on Saturday night. How many more tickets did the theater sell on Friday night than on Saturday night? So what they're asking us to find is how many more tickets Friday than Saturday. So we're going to reread our problem. We're going to reread our problem so that way we can draw out what's happening here. So on Friday night, the movie theater sold 1,064 tickets. So one, 1,064 tickets. And on Saturday night, sold a little bit less, 934 tickets. So if you notice, I made it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to draw a little dotted line up there. That's just to kind of show where it would be even at. And then we'll kind of finish drawing that in so that way it's even there. And we'll block this part out because that's not going to be anything that we're counting. That's not actually part of our 934. And so what I'm looking for is right here. And that's the technical way of drawing this unit bar. So I can say that I've at least showed you how we draw the unit bar. And this is definitely comparing because one unit bar is longer than the other. And I want to see how much longer the other one, how much longer one of them is than the other one. That's a lot of others in there. But anyway, that's what we're doing. It's definitely comparing. So if I let B represent the difference in the ticket sales, we can write our equation like this. 1,064 minus 934 equals B. Why B? I don't know. Let's just, I just picked a random letter, I guess. Or we can write, um, write it this way. B equals 1,000, oops, 64. Let me fix that comma there. Rewrite that. 1,064, there we go, minus 934. Again, B is representing the difference between the two nights' sales. So let's go ahead and find our difference. So I'm going to do 1,064 minus 934. 4 minus 4 is 0. 6 minus 3 is 3. 10 minus 9 is 1. I could go back and regroup. I still end up with 10 minus 9. So our difference is 130. How do I solve this problem? Well, I found the difference between the amount on Friday night and the amount on Saturday. Hopefully seeing how to work one of these problems helps you out. If you have any questions, don't forget to put it on your whisk so I can help you.